Evening, folks. Uh, it's been a beautiful day here in Virginia. It was like 72. I've been painting on a cedar siding house. Got it done. I've been on it this week. I think I started on it actually Monday painting the uh, siding. So I got it got it done. Done the trim last week. And uh, I'm going to finish it up tomorrow. i got to do the foundation. So that's good. Uh, we had a terrible storm last night with hail and wind and everything. Went some of it here. Uh, this house is 11, 11 minutes from me because I paid attention to coming home soon. Ain't far from me. And they had terrible hail. I tore the leaves off the trees and everything else. Leaves laying everywhere. But uh, we, don't need, we don't need a bunch of that because the lake is already dirty. Some of y'all made comments on how dirty the water was in the video. This, this video for this poor catch. I made this video Saturday. So this was a good fresh video. I made it Saturday and loaded it Sunday. Uh, we've had a lot of rain. Uh, it poured, poured down last night. So uh, I hadn't even been down, down to the lake. The creek, I live on the creek by, uh, by, uh, creek by my house, feeds the lake. The house beside me is waterfront, and I'm not. With the leaves on the trees, I really can't see the lake very well now. But I know the creek by my house is nasty, so I know the lake is nasty. And guys, in that nasty water I fished this week, also when I made this uh, grenade bug, I used this color. I showed you all this last week. This is that real bright blue back and that shoreline belly. The belly is shoreline. It's not chartreuse. And I uh, put Tahiti, I put a shift in it. I ordered some other shift. I told you last week the shift come in yesterday. So I'll get to play with that maybe this weekend. Maybe Friday. See how far I get along with this job tomorrow. Maybe Friday. And I ordered a gold and a chartreuse shift that I'm going to put in this belly color and to make it brighter. And uh, I'm going to try to make the back a touch brighter. And I'll probably call it Electric Moon. How's that sound? All right. This was the other color. I haven't got to fish with this one. It's also a char lime, but the back is that, is that uh, brown that changes to blue. Okay. And I haven't got to fish with that one. And I took that same brown, as you can see it here. Why don't you see it turn to blue if I take the. I ain't doing it justice. But it's got a blue belly on it. It's the same blue, but I didn't make it as dark. So I'm playing with a few new colors, and this is the ice color uh, grub, okay? And it's not on the site, but it's going to be. That's going to be a new color in the grub. It's going to be ice, and I think I'm going to have ice and ice with the chartreuse tail. I made some. I made one batch. I sent uh, Sam some. And if y'all notice him, y'all watch him. I see your names on there sometimes in comments. Wildlife Adventures. Okay, check him out. He's using those. He's been catching fish on them. And he said, they saw oh, this is really working good. This ice cut the chartreuse tail. He said, I don't know what he calls it. Why do you have a name for it? <laughs> There's no name for it because I don't call it nothing. I've never gave it a name. I just made some sent to him. I made them because he asked me. He said, you don't make the grub in ice? I said, no. Well, that's a good color. I said, it is. I said, but I can't make it in everything. It's already 18 colors in it. You know, I was trying to make some different colors, trying to make something different. So anyway, I made some of the nice and sent them to him. He's been catching fish on so I reckon I'll have, to, I'll have to put them on the site now. All right, so I'm going to share that with you. And yeah, that you see how dirty the lake is? This uh, electric moon worked really good. They were nailing it. I could see them on the live scope come running for it. I was fishing a laid-down tree. When they hit the water, they went like five foot deep. And as that bait was sinking, they was coming for it. So, and what you know, I said, y'all see how nasty the water was. So it's going to be a good stained water color. All right. And another thing is, guys, the smell I put in bags. A lot of people have asked me, and I've said it quite a, quite often in my videos. It's a nez. Okay. Now, a lot of bait manufacturers use it. Okay. A few of you have made comments that uh, did a fish like it. I had somebody about a year ago. All right, about a year ago, somebody said. Uh, I'm not sure about that scent. They emailed me back. I ain't sure about that scent. I said, Yummy uses that same scent. Uh, I had the other make, name that came to my mind. It's, it's riding home day, and I lost it. Uh, he's out of Lynchburg, Virginia. He's one of the pro bass fishermen. Uh, anyway, I can't think of it now. But anyway, I use his bass baits. I've been using it for years. He uses it. 
Uh, man's used to use it. The man used to use the grape smell. Okay, do y'all remember that? So uh, yeah, the fish don't mind it. It's not an odor that that they like. And what they do is, guys, and as they use to make uh, in food production. They, they, I understand they use it in pretzels, but it, it's it's a seed, and they smash that seed, get the juice out, and get that smell. It's kind of a sweet smell. Now they take that and they mix it with worm oil. Now worm oil is not made like motor oil, guys. It's not made from a petroleum. It's more of a vegetable style oil. Okay, it will not hurt the baits. It's good for the baits. It helps keep them soft and and and, uh, and uh, where they where they move easy. Okay. Uh, it lubes them. It's, a, it's just a lube for your plastics, okay? They mix it with that. Now, I did switch companies. I used I, the What I've been using lately is Dead On, because I I've you know, I use Dead On plastics, and I'm switching to the colorants, because the colorants I were getting uh, were, were getting uh, were caking up on me. And, I'm, and some of y'all that stood with me, well, you heard me say that, they were caking up on me and, and uh, causing too much problem when I was mixing colors. So what did I do? I switched to dead on on the colorant, and I like their colorant better. That's where this shoreline comes from. All right. Now I don't like their scent. I, I got two bottles of it. It's four ounce bottles, and it's not as strong. It's okay. I didn't say I dislike it. Let me say it a different way. It's not as strong as what I was using. And some of y'all are gonna notice that when you open the bag. Before I was using it from Lunker uh, Craft. So here's what I've done. Uh, this week, I ordered a pint of it from uh, uh, this Lure Parts Online. That's what it's called. And it's Lure Craft. Theirs is stronger. Okay, so I ordered a pint. Now, if some of y'all are interested in it, a four ounce bottle, when I went online, other might have seen this, a four ounce bottle, yeah, it's not a lot, is $16. Shipping for that four ounce bottle is $10. It's nine ninety eight, nine ninety nine. That's right. So now we're at $26. For a four ounce bottle, a pint is sixty dollars. Yeah, so I, I ordered a pint, and a four ounces won't last me long, guys. And uh, I put about three drops in a bag. So what I'll do with that? I'll go back and I'll take the dead on, dead on, and I'll, I'll put it in a different bottle, and and I'll add more more scent to it to get it stronger. I like it a touch stronger too. So the last probably. Uh, I don't know, guys. The last couple, four or five hundred bags I made might have that in. I just started using the dead on. I haven't used it much. Um, but the grubs don't. So I don't know when I switched to it. But it's not as strong, if you ever notice. So somebody, if you're on the bag, you're like, huh, it's not as strong. And it's not. It's kind of a, uh, almost like a vegetable oil type smell with a sweetness to it. All right? So, but it will not. It will not hurt anything. It will not turn the fish off. It still has that light and there's odor to it. Okay, if you smell lightly, you can you can smell it. Now, let me tell you something else. You can do, guys. I've got some Berkeley Pyrobate scent. Now, y'all know what Pyrobate is. Pyrobate, as far as I'm concerned, I've caught more fish from Pyrobates, worms and stuff. Than I have about anything. I would use them, but all the time, four inch worms and stuff, six inch worms, seven inch ribbon tails. I use them a lot when I was bass fishing because I, I had good I had faith in them and I think that odor worked. So, and that that smell will knock you down if you think the smell is offensive, it'll knock you down. One, take a big swift for that. You go like, wow, I've got some in liquid. I used to be sponsored by uh, Berkeley, and a lot of my when I was guiding a lot in fishing tournaments, I was sponsored by them and I them and Garcia and I used in uh, Fenwick. And I used a lot of their stuff. You can take, and I still had some of the scent left over, so I was getting that. You can take the Berkeley Pyre scent, open your bag, if that's what you like. Put your squirt in there. Put your four or five drops in there. You could take garlic. It's not going to make any difference. If you like the smell of garlic, you can buy garlic in little tubes. You can go in any bait shop and buy scent. If you open the bag and go like, no, nah, it ain't strong enough for me. I don't like other. Change it. Walk in the bait store, buy what you like. Smell them. The old style fish for me, y'all remember that? It smelled like licorice, didn't it? It's it's really close to this and this. It's about the same thing. Get you a bottle of that. Squirt some out in your bag. But my point is, you can change the smell of the baits, guys. If you don't like, if you don't like the smell of the nest, just go ahead and get you something from the bait shop you like. And put it in the bag. All right, all right, guys. I just thought I'd share that with you. And uh, Scott, and Kevin, I'm ready for both y'all. 
uh, I've commented, I think, I think I've commented to Scott, I don't think I have to Kevin, I uh, will tonight. Uh, go for it. All right, guys. Uh, if not, just, if you ain't sure, just give me, a, give me a holler, and I'll get back with you. Let's pull the number here and see what happens. Try to share a few things with y'all what's going on. Are y'all ready? 140. Well, that's good because we've been getting uh, numbers everywhere. That's the first low number we had for a while. That's not too low, in the middle, kind of middle ground. I think we had 18, then it went to something else. I have my paper right here in front of me. I flipped it over. Uh, three, last week was 352. All right, guys. Yeah, I said great dirty water color. It is. Uh, Sid comment. He's been using a Grenada. And some of y'all said, your lake looks like Grenada. I know it. That's why I used it. Guys, when I left here that morning, I wouldn't plan on using that color. I had some other colors in my mind I want to make a video with. I was, and I was going to use some of the junior baits because the small baits have been just busting them here. Like the tadpole today I made a video with. Y'all see that video. I said, I talked to y'all real to them when I nailed it. And I caught a lot of nice fish that day. That was uh, a couple Saturdays ago. I've got like six videos ahead now. So sometimes they, they might be two or three weeks old when I do that. But that's just the way it's going to have to be. With rain, thunderstorms, me trying to work, sometimes I can't keep them fresh like I want to. All right, the number is 140. So this is going to knock some yard right away. But anyway, all right, Glenn, 100. Good to hear from you, Glenn. You coming down uh, more Day weekend? You need to holler at me. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can get together. And you can put me on some fish. Y'all remember he fished with me last year? I think it was that weekend, and I threw that limeade on him. <laughs> he couldn't believe how it caught fish. Well, I wasted my time writing, Glenn James and. James, I knocked you out already. I all I did was look down. Some of y'all was probably hollering that. All right. So we need now we need a number between one twenty four and one forty. All right. Over. I said didn't leave number. Yeah, said fishes a uh, Grenada, and he said that the Grenada bug works great there. So I sent some to him to test. And I was fishing Curry Lake there like a week after that, if y'all remember, was with Sam with Wildlife Adventures, and the color worked good there, and the water was nasty. It's a good, nasty water color. It certainly is. And uh, Sid was behind the idea of it. He sent me a picture of a bait. He said, look at this bait. Can you make something close to that? You're one number over, Philip. The number's 140. And uh, that, that, that was my turnaround on it, and it worked fine. 134. All right, musical chairs tonight. All right, James, you got knocked out. Uh, Mr. Fry here, hold on. All right, knocked you out, 134. Now we need another between 134 and 140. <laughs> 132. Y'all let me hold my hand over here. That just helps me look at the... <laughs> I'm directing my eyesight there, I reckon. I don't know why I do that. Do y'all point at stuff when you're trying to find something? It's probably from painting all day, smelling fumes, guys. I said, I'm going to cedar side in the house and the color cedar. Looking good. It's really pretty. All right. 239. Okay, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, you, you, I'm ready for you, bud. So anyway, I'm trying to answer a few questions when I do this. Some of y'all told me they're doing a live and asked me. I'll I, be talking about a while back. Guys, I'll tell you the truth. I'd have to do it on a uh, Wednesday evening or Wednesday night. There's other people doing that. You'll be fighting for their p people. Some of y'all watch other people. You have to get in a routine and do it every week. I got so much going on. With Sometimes I'm in the bait shop at 7, 8 o'clock. Uh, I, I don't know. It really pushed me to tie myself down to a time. Let me share something else with you. When, when this is, of course, this is on my page. Okay, that's why it's different. But when you go on a page right here, it says subscribe. When you go on my site and you're watching my video, if it's black, you're not subscribed. If it's clear, you're subscribed. Now, I must. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Ninety-three comments. 
okay? Now, half of those are mine. It counts mine as a comment, too, when I say thank y'all, okay? There's one, there's two, all right? Now, if you, if you cut 93 in half, all right, y'all with me? It's still over 45 comments, right? Now, 27 people that left a comment were subscribers. Only 27 of you out of that 45 are subscribers that left a number. So, some of you think you're subscribed, but you're not. Now, John said last week that he checked one time and he wasn't subscribed. He said it's happened a couple times. Some of you are not subscribed. Uh, this old guy, not me, one of y'all guys, this old guy, you said, Dennis, tell me how to use a GoPro. I made a video on how to use a GoPro. It's 39 minutes long. I'm going to load it Saturday. From using the GoPro to loading the card on the on the computer to going to Premiere Pro, edit it. I made cuts in it, show you how to cut it, show you how to make a thumbnail like this, show you how to make a thumbnail, the whole nine yards. I only loaded two clips, and the clips came from the video y'all seen today on the tadpole. That's where the clips came from. I put some humor in it. I tried to not make it dull. So... <laughs> You have to watch it. My wife thought it was pretty funny. So, uh, y'all have to watch it. I'll load it Saturday. So, it's a little funny. I didn't try to offend anybody. So, may I watch it get offended? I'm sorry. I'll tell you ahead of time. I was just trying to be a little funny. wouldn't be so dry. And I told you all the options of filming. Different ways you can film. Different, you know, different angles. What you get in those angles. <laughs> y'all check it out. At least watch them. If you ain't interested in, in how, how a video is made, I thought maybe so y'all be interested. How how much video is made? It's thirty nine minutes long. It goes to show you how <laughs> I, you put some time into it. It takes me about an hour to edit videos, guys. Then it's got an end code. But average video is about an hour or longer. Okay, using a single camera. If I use multiple cameras, it takes me longer. Appreciate y'all, guys. Hey, we'll see y'all next time. Fishing Lake Country. <laughs>